Hi, my name is Whitney Giroux. Today, I will be discussing my current research in Dr. Frank Foss's lab on the deuteration of 3 mercaptopropanoic acid for electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy. EPR spectroscopy, which is analogous to NMR spectroscopy, is commonly utilized for the investigation of enzyme substrate interactions. Through measurements of paramagnetic electrons, enzymologists can correlate coupled electrons through hyperfine splitting. The closer electrons are to the enzyme binding site, the more signals they produce. In our case, electrons are close to the binding site and coupled with iron, producing multiple signals in the spectrum. Our aim is to enhance the interaction we see via isotopic labeling of 3MPA. Why do we do isotopic labeling? CH3, in comparison to CD3, has a vastly different spectrum due to the spin state. Our collaborators at the University of Alabama sent us this high score EPR spectra. This peanut esque blob here, showing the two spots which we've labeled one and two, is where we can see splitting as a result of iron in the substrate enzyme complex. The 1 and 2 correspond with carbon A and carbon B on our labeled molecule. The issue, however, is that we are unsure which spot corresponds with A and which spot corresponds with B. To fix this, we exchange the protons on these carbons to deuterium, which changes the spin states from 1 half to 1, therefore modulating one spot at a time to be able to provide evidence for each site's specific identity. In our proposed mechanism, we utilize sodium methoxide with deuterated methanol as our source of deuterium. When the methoxide attacks the protons on the alpha carbon, a resulting electron movement gives a carbon-carbon double bond directly next to a carbon-oxygen double bond, also resulting in the kicking off of the methoxide group as a leaving group. This resulting intermediate species is a ketein, which then undergoes nucleophilic attack by the deuterated methanol and a subsequent rearrangement gives us our original ester with the deuterium on the alpha carbon. We conducted a four step synthesis. First, via Fischer esterification, we changed our acid to an ester. An ester is a natural side product of deuteration, so to control for this, we decided to begin with the ester. Next, we used basic conditions to create the disulfide bond. The disulfide bond is also a natural product a natural side product of deuteration that we decided to get ahead of by making it part of our starting material. We then performed the deuteration and subsequent hydrolysis back to a dye acid that has been deuterated four times. Looking at our spectra, beginning with our NMR spectrum, starting here on the far left, we see the methanol, the reaction was running with its characteristic peak at 3.661. However, what is of interest to us is peak A, which corresponds to the protons on the beta carbons of our molecule. We also see other peaks, which sadly indicate the presence of compounds that are not our molecule. Our NMR spectra is corroborated by our mass spectrum. Here we have our base peak at about 214, which corresponds with our deuterated molecule. However, we likewise see other peaks that we cannot account for. Looking forward, we want to try to deuterate the beta protons on our molecule to do a similar analysis with EPR. The issue here is the high pKa of the beta protons, indicating harsher conditions will need to be implemented. Along with this, we are challenged with deuterating L-cysteine. The obstacle here is maintaining chirality of the compound we have two options. One, repeating our previous synthesis and utilizing a chiral column in order to extract the different products, but this is difficult and expensive. Or two, we can use a chiral catalyst that can be synthesized in-house and via a chirality inverting procedure, we could begin with D-cysteine to hopefully end with L-cysteine. Lastly, we hope to deuterate cysteine, but the challenge here is the two functional groups present along with the high pKa of the compound. This process will require a lot of protecting group gymnastics and have an extensive number of synthesis steps. In conclusion, we are continuing to look at the refinement of our process to get peer product for enzymatic study.